Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Land on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, no, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. He's not moving. He will, eventually. I suppose he does. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me? Good luck with that.
Is anyone here? Hello? Expect me to sit in their fancy chair. So now, what the hell? Go! Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The bindings are there as a safeguard. No! 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 God damn it! Attention! Ascension in the count of five. Oh, no, count of four. No, no, no. Three, two, one. Ascension. Ascension. Alright, we're going to stay calm. Five thousand feet. Ten thousand feet. Fifteen thousand feet. Hallelujah.
find the exit out of this place. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? Excuse me, where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Best keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. Commit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the sodden beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet has just railed against the sodden beneath us, but not accept the three golden gifts of the pounders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the pounders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just led us to the new Eden and not purged the vipers of the Orient, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just purged the vipers of the Orient, but not suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, but not expelled the Vox Populi, it would have been enough. Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below? Newly come to Columbia to be washed clean, 
before our prophets, our founders, and our Lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Hey, I'm just looking to pass through. Take his hair. Cleanse yourself, brother. Or turn around and get back on my rocket. Might as well get it over with. Come and be cleansed. Hallelujah! Go on. <laughs> hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. <laughs> I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Who's there? Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the debt! What do you want? We had a deal to it. Open this door right now. I told you. I'm not gonna do it. Go away! Mr. DeWitt! Mr. DeWitt! Idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. To Father Franklin, a key of gold so that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. To Father Jefferson, a scroll, so that Eden might have laws that set her above all other nations. And so each year we recommit ourselves to our founders and our prophet, Father Comstock. And recommit to, to our prophet, prophet Father, Father Comstock. Comstock, so that we may follow in the prophet's path. Amen. Amen. Our prophet fills our lungs with water, so they may better love the air. He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch over me and lend me strength. Shield my mind from fear and doubt so that I may hold fast against all invaders. Father Washington, hear my prayer. A rebel against ignorance and tyranny. Share with me your wisdom and let the light of your good judgment shine like a beacon through the darkness. Father Jefferson, hear my prayer. By the sword, sword and, and the, the scroll, scroll and, and the, the key. key. Amen. Amen. There's no chance, no luck, only providence. And that you see its divine hand at work. You discern the transmundane. Your inspiration and imagination transcend mere science and open our eyes to the mystery. Father Franklin, hear my prayer. Just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. 
Still got a girl to find. Convenient when buildings don't dock on time. Yesterday I had to take a gondola, rubbing an elbow. Perfect day for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned it just this way. I think it fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute, you know, divinity. Hmm? Like does not matter to a Liberty Scout. There's no room for preference, only duty. Sonstal's all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? my dear fellow they are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man uh-huh i told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule the the, the landscaping is half finished the, the statuary hasn't arrived the fountain is full of rainwater for god's sake even the marigolds are still unplanted all work which should have been done months ago uh-huh do you know what he told me he said that he was tired, that, that the work had taken much from him. I said, good God, man, don't tell me about details, just get it done. Mm-hmm. You almost finished down there? Yes, sir. It's Latin. It means... Latin.
Good luck at the raffle, folks. Picking the right event to attend on a day like today is serious business, you know. You can't be everywhere at once. <laughs> You'll always miss something. That's why we're going to the raffle. I have a good feeling this year. Columbia Raffle and Fair. <laughs> He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll, if you get my meaning. Velvet skies, warm temperatures, and light oh, wind wind today. throughout the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. And now, back to the music. Raising money for the girls' patriotic league. <laughs> Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. One man goes into the waters of baptism. A different man comes out, born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint, until he is revealed unto the eyes of man.
don't turn into some faint dramatical on me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I'm Mary Box Popular, now do I? That's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence, stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77, stop. Lead text. Good day to you, sir. Hello. That's where all the immigrants used to pass through. Wish they still allowed average Janes and Joes to enter. You know, you gotta be somebody now. friend. Gonna let me through here, pal? Hey, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to Kingdom Come. Again. Roadblock. Better find another way around. No, sir, no, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Miss. I agree. Keep saying that. Should we go in? One swing and beats of one commander at the tips of your finger. You know. Where's Matt? I don't know what he sees in her. You know Money! <laughs> amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the vigor? One swing and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked, personally asked Mr. Jeremiah Fink to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. Look at this. Those dirty if I told again. you a man that you'd like to...
mechanical. He'll never tire, never throw, never hunger, never thirst, never break a leg, never befoul your stalls with filth. Equus Mechanical, good enough for Columbia's finest, good enough for you. Spreading their lies and dissent. Fear not! Writing this guideline solely was originated by adolescents. <laughs> Little joyriders didn't even have proper tools for it. Or if they introduced the Skyhook, more than one of those damn things might have broken the max right in the dark. The skylines of Columbia. Oh, this is the Vox Populi are on the loose. Who will hunt them down? Handy with a rifle? Looking to do your part for Columbia? Show your skill by hunting down Daisy Fitzroy and the vile members of the Vox Populi! Shoot the targets, earn the points, win the prize! You, sir, or you, gentlemen, who will take arms against these monstrous heathens? Well, here's a brave fellow! Now, shoot the box when they appear, get it up, and you'll win a prize. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. Well done, sir. Another shot right on the money. Well done, sir. A natural gunslinger. shall be richly rewarded. Calling all skilled marksmen. The Vox Populi are on the loose. Who can protect us? Demonstrate your bravery right here. Shoot the target. Folk. Hear your voice from the past in the present. Say something, Sonny. What's a voxophone? What's a voxophone? Exactly that. A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. I usually wait till Fink works on the kinks with them. It's safe for you. Beloved spouse? Well, 
It's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to your will. Give me one of those. With just a whisper, they're all ears. <laughs> Press to turn machines into allies. What the hell was that? That don't mean me. Well, if it isn't a Zeblim in Buford, your spot at the Wrath of the Wakes. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Odd. Always good to have gentlemen of your caliber at our fine fairgrounds. Hot dogs, Alexander Hot Dogs, Columbia's finest, work every titty. cent. Recite poetry for your little lady and play it ad infinite. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. He looks just fine to me. Mary, you are a living, walking scandal. Prophet, bless her and keep her. Oh, that poor woman. She don't make you whole. Well, it certainly doesn't hurt. This little beauty? Ah, the whole division. 
vision got them. If we're gonna flush the Vox out of the Skyline system, we gotta have the best. Uh, they got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some Vox skull. <laughs> your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. Sale. <laughs> Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right then. The winner is number 77! Well, what do you know? Number 77, come and claim your prize! First throw! Please don't do this! It was me! It was all me! Please! Please! Please, what are you doing? Come on! Are you gonna throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> Oh, looks like we've got a shy one here. <laughs> we 
We've got to do something about that. <laughs> Time's a wasting, my boy. We got something Why don't you give her a throw? Bitch. Wait. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> now, where'd you get that brand, <laughs> boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? <laughs> And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! Stop him! Stop him! The false shepherds come to lead our lamb astray! Disconnect! I told you, Comstock. You sell them paradise, and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose. Possession now turns machine and man into allies. Hold and release to create a ghostly trap.
getting hot. What's going on? Vigor. This kicks. You know you only live once. This. Press to throw a fiery grenade. Hold and release to create an explosive trap. <coughs> that wasn't no sample. Why are you following me? We were already here. Why are you?
you following us? I... Aperitif. better already. The difference between life and death. What was that? Surprising. Surprising that it worked? Surprising that it didn't kill him. But a magnetic repulsive field around one's body can come in handy. If it doesn't kill you. A fair point.
father, Comstock, called on me today to write his biograph. Me. The man pays for exactly 100 pages in advance. Now, I'm half a Jew when I smell silver, so I say, I say, father, your flock would pay for a thousand. You know, why settle for less? And then the prophet looks to me and says, 100 will suffice as I know how it ends. Must be magnetized.
do. How they treat them. Comstock came by the wagon at dawn. Man was just, he's just transfixed by my trophy scalps. Asked about the white ones there. I said, well, sir, if your quarry dwells in the jungle and beds down with the local color, why split hairs? <laughs> Not a chuckle out of him. Either he ain't seen a man go native or maybe, maybe too many. Anyhow, now he's got me hunting down this Daisy Fitzroy. Hope you don't expect me to stuff and mount her. <laughs> yeah.
Columbia gave unto the founders the tools to build a new Eden, they did so without hesitation. For 85 years they prepared the way of the Lord. But when the great apostate came, he brought war with him, and the fields of Eden were soaked with the blood of brothers. The only emancipation he had to offer was death. what the doctor ordered.
exactly was the great emancipator emancipating the Negro from? From his daily bread, from the nobility of honest work, from wealthy patrons who sponsored them from cradle to grave, from clothing and shelter. And what have they done with their freedom? Why, go to Finkton and you shall find out. No animal is born free, except the white man. And it is our burden to care for the rest of creation. Music. Oh. 